hello again. Uh, today I will be building this um, 4 plus 4 plus Star Wars Lego set. Lego set number 75237. Yes, I know the age probably isn't good, but I'm going to build it because I love Lego. I picked this set up off off um, off the off, off, off one of the local markets I go to at a very good price. If you shop around, you, you, you if you keep your eye out, you, you can get some very good price on your Lego sets. I personally always price check the Lego sets if I see them if I see them on a market store and if they're the right price, I buy them. And this is a very good. This looks like a very good set. It's got a rebel. It's got a rebel trooper and an imperial tie fighter. Right, so I think we'll open open her up and see see what we've got. Oh, there's the back of the box, which makes it look a bit cooler as well. We'll open it up. I think the four plus is meant to be designed so 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 anyone so so younger people can build it a bit easier. Right, so there's the box. I'll put that to one side for the time being. We have one bag here with a few bits in. We have another bag here. This looks like the um, Rebel bag. This looks like the spare parts, all the bits I need for the TIE fighter. And this, these, these are the sides, ready-made sides for the TIE fighter, which I think are brilliant. Very specialised, but never, nevertheless quite cool. If I was a if I was a four-year-old boy, I would love them. Right, and this is looks like the but this looks like the actual um, the actual base the base of the Tie Fighter cabin. Which is really cool. So what we do? I've got the instruction book here. It's not it's not too big. I've seen I I built bigger I've built, over the years. I built bigger bigger instruction books. So first of all, we're doing the Tie Fighter, which is going to be brilliant. So. Let's open up the TIE Fighter. Open it carefully again. Oh, it comes, it's got the TIE Fighter pilot seems to have a, have a nice little gun as well. When I got my first Star Wars Lego, you got the, um, the what I call the megaphone guns. But they were, they were cool, but times have changed. Well, there's his helmet. Be a bit more careful because I don't want to lose any bricks. There's his body. There's his head, which I quite like. I think I've seen it before somewhere. It's a bit of a the body is a bit of a dark has a bit of a Darth Vader feel about it. And I think the face probably is a bit of a Darth Vader feel, but it's still quite cool. And you've got like the and you've got a, a really nice black Imperial helmet as well. Got a bit, little bit missing at the back, but you're not going to see that anyway. And he, and he has, and he has a little blaster as well, just in case he crash lands and has to survive on his own. So there we go. He does look rather cool, I think. So we'll, we'll stand him up over here. I'll try and keep him on camera, but let's see, if, see, see if we can keep him on camera for you. We'll keep him here. See what. See if, see, if he, see if he wants to stand up. Well, I presume he's a he anyway. So, apologies on that one. Right, so it's a reasonably simple build. The the base is already built, and he has a little red patch. That's probably where he sits, like that. Now we have some. We have some extra bits for his seat, which we put just in front. My apologies if I get this wrong. That's oh, that will just be enthusiasm. Ooh, that's better, like that. We have that now. We have a little bit that goes on the front. I always like these. These are like these are like the um, front plates used to used to use the headlights on cars. All Lego still do as well. Now we want some one of these in green, and we should have another one. Here. Hopefully, there we go. It was hiding under something. 
generally, generally, generally Lego don't. Generally, I find Lego will always have the all the parts, give you more parts rather than not enough. But on rare occasions, it does happen. So we put these these bits on the back. Not not sure what they're for yet, but we'll find out as we go. Next for the next part, we've got this bit on the back to make it reinforce it a bit more. We have a couple of these. The coloration always seems slightly off from the bricks from the printing. I think that's due to a, a slight issue between printers' colours and Lego colours, but I've always I've always found my way around that one. So we put these bits on here, so which gives it the nice angle. Right, we're in instruction number nine now. We have this bit here which goes on the front, some little roof, what I call roof pieces there. As you can see, we have the cockpits coming together quite nicely at the moment. Now we have a nice solid roof bit for it, which I do like. It becomes it becomes a whole lot easier when you, when you have, when, when you have put, when you put it back in the box when you finish playing with it it keeps it all together a lot easier. Now we have some clips on here, which I'm not sure. I think one of them is going to be the hinge for the actual front of the Tie Fighter. Right, we should have a couple of arch bits to go on here to fit to make the effect. Look, make it look make it look even cooler. I would say awesome, but my daughter wouldn't appreciate it. Then we have uh, this bit goes on the back. I see. This is quite clever. I like this. This bit goes on the back to a, to, to give it the actual Tie Fighter Tie Fighter look, and you have the. Sorry, I do apologise, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. The excitement of Lego. I'm sure I'm sure most builders will understand. Oh, you've got some nice red vented bits on top. Makes it look really makes it look really cool. Ooh, there we can put the bit on the front. Which is the which makes it look like a classic tie classic TIE Fighter submarine front. But Generally, generally a good brick. Probably has been used before in Lego, but it still it still looks good. And you've got some grey Technic Lego connectors. The black ones te the black ones tend to be stronger, but I know from because I used to build lots of Technic Lego. Right, that's that's now the cockpit ready to go. We'll put that over. We'll put that over here for a minute while we do while I sort out the. Um, the, sh the shields or the wings. I should know this as a Star Wars fan, but I do apologise. Please feel free to correct me um, in, in the comments and or and like and subscribe. Right, we are now going to put the the details on the on the sides of the Tie Fighter, which was. Let me have a quick look at the box because I have a feeling no, there is no coloration issue. I am slightly colourblind, so I do apologise. So, but when it comes, when I build Lego, I do get quite. I do actually, I do like to see it done right. So, right, we have one of these, one of these, and one of these. That's one side of the type. Oh no, it's not yet. Excitement again. There we go. We have one side of the tie fighter done. We now do the next side. So we put these on these at the ends. Put these on there. Seem to have I seem to have 
two bits left of this TIE fighter to go so far. I've now built both sides. We now have two wings, which all see. And now I can attach these to the TIE fighter. Unfortunately, you can only attach them one way. If you, if, if Lego has, has managed to make these bits, uh, bits on each side, you can make um, a, a Darth Vader TIE fighter. Just need to put the the blasters on the front, which is which is what the uh, car headlight bit would, would have been for. If I I can now, there we go. There's the Tie Fighter in its glory. So it goes. I'll do it. it tie Fighters don't fly themselves. Right, I'm going to put his gun on the back here because I, I believe that's what it's for. Uh, if not, it's a just it's just a really good place to keep. Right, I'm going to stick the pilot in the Tie Fighter, nice and secure, in his cockpit. Hang on. We now have a a, a very quick to build Tie Fighter. Very juvenile, but fun. Right, so we now have the TIE Fighter. We are n I'm now going to build the um, the Imperial, no, the, the, the Rebel, what looks like the actual Death Star radar. It looks really cool. Um, and it's all it is. It looks, it, it, it looks like a variation on the set from, from, the, uh, from Star Wars A New Hope. But it is, but it's just a computer. But so we start off by building the Rebel Trooper. He looks a bit like the one who, who actually, who is on sentry duty when the ships are coming in Star Wars. He's got two faces as well. He's got a kind of a half smile and a. He's got. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't seem to have anything any expressions which are very um you, you can't really tell what the expressions are try to work out how the helmet goes because i'm not sure oh it comes a little he has a little visor on it as well i think that should make it look it look a bit cooler and he actually he actually looks like it actually looks like you could, you could put them on a, on a blockade runner as well if you were trying to recreate the first scene from Star Wars. See, looks really cool I think, but we'll stick him here for the time being because I'm sure the TIE fighter will behave. Right, well, we're now going to build the computer. I'm now going to build the computer terminal, which which I think looks really cool. Got the base done. Like I say, it's all about the base. We have. Well, it is just. It is just the. I, I think this is a briefing computer rather than a, um, rather than a, a rebel base attack computer. But still, never the mind. It never. Nevertheless, it's really cool. Really cool. Really cool brick. If you had the time and the money, you could build some really good sets with this. But we now have another little bit to build, another separate bit to build. So we have a, what I call a double headlight piece. We have a two by one. This is looks like a full radar dish. We have a what I call a round rocket part with. Uh, Jag with like gearing type edges on it. We actually have a. They have actually put another 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 little computer bit on here, which is really really nicely detailed. Very good job, Lego. I'm really impressed. We now we now put. I'll leave that there. Sorry if it's out. I do apologise if it's out of shot, but. I will 
will show, I'll, I'll have it all, I'll, when it's all built, I will do your proper display. Now we're doing a, what looks like a radar dish. We stick that on here like this, I would say. So that goes on there like that. And that goes on here. I'm not quite sure why they use this fancy brick for that, but that base. But still, it's always always handy, always handy to have in your in your Lego collection. As I found out, as I found out when I was a kid, you can build all sorts of things. These look like little seats for the for the computer operators, and that's and that's the end of that set. So we have, so we can set this up here. I'll try and set it up so you can see it on camera. Just gonna put the instruction book over here. This is a wonderful Lego set. We have it this here, we have the added seats here, and somehow he's gonna defend somehow he's there to spot this TIE fighter coming in and 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 somehow, and somehow, stop the Tie Fighter from at, from actually shooting him. Not sure how, but probably need the X-wing set to do it. But so the Tie Fighter will go, and he'll be firing his pistol. He'll be firing his laser pistol then, and the Tie Fighter will go, Rebel Base spotted. Can Rebel Base spotted. Report to the Death Star. Therefore, he's now back at the Death Star, and. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and describe, add any comments, constructive criticism. Thank, thank you, thank you very much for watching.